Hi friends, today is the first day of my channel. Hi guys, today I am going to explain you uh, the basic tips and tricks that is uh, very very necessary to uh, solve any of the quantitative aptitude problems or reasoning problems in any of the competitive examinations. So starting with the quantitative aptitude section, the very basic thing that you must know while solving the quantitative aptitude section is the tables uh, of uh, 1 to 20, numbers from 1 to 20, you should be very familiar with the tables. Uh, usually this will be helpful in solving the simplification type of problems in the quantitative aptitude section. Uh, here I have written a table from 13 to 19 because uh, 1 to 10 table is uh, almost easy. You should be learning it in the primary section. It will be by heart. However, I feel it is easy. And from uh, 11 table is also easy. 20 table is easy. And 13 to 19 few people uh, get stuck uh, while uh, memorizing. Like... Uh, uh, directly if we ask 16 to 16 into 8 or 17, 17 into 9 or 19 into 8 will be stuck somewhere. So it is very important that you stick the tables uh, in your room in a A4 size paper. You just uh, try to paste it in the cupboard or somewhere so that you will be able to memorize it uh, frequently. The next important thing in the quantitative aptitude section is the number series. In number series, they may ask any type of uh, number, uh, series of numbers. Uh, like uh, uh, here I have written the values uh, of square of a number uh, 2, that is 4. From 2 to 22 I have written square of number 2 is 4 and uh, square of a number 2 minus 1 is 3 and square of number 2 minus 2 is 2 and similarly if you write all these values in a sheet of paper and uh, keep seeing it every day you will get to know the, all the values so if in the exam if they ask any of the number series problem where you find uh, these numbers in the series then you will be easily able to solve those problems. So this is the very basic tips that you should be remembering. <laughs> 